quick. Graph y equals the square root of the quantity 36 minus the quantity of 2x squared by hand two different ways. It is highly recommended that you watch the video how to graph y equals f of the quantity k times x before watching this video. You will need graph paper or download this PDF and print it and press pause as needed any time during the video. The first way is with what we call the semicircle dance. The coefficient of x, which is 2, does not affect the center of the semicircle, which is normally the origin. Because when x is equal to 0, 2 times x is also equal to 0. Recall that the coefficient k equals 2 is inversely proportional to the horizontal dilation factor. That is, we multiply each x value by the reciprocal of that value, which is 1 half. Since r squared is 36, that means the radius of this semicircle is 6. So normally the semicircle dance would be right 6 up 0, but because of the 2x, we have to multiply a half times 6, so it's right 3 up 0. The x-coordinate is affected, but the y-coordinate is not. So right 3 comma 0. Normally, the next step would be right 0 up 6. And here, it is the same stays at right 0 up 6, because half of 0 is 0. Again, the y-coordinate is unchanged. And normally it's left 6 up 0, but half of 6 is going to be 3, so it's left 3 up 0. So here are our points, and we need to connect them with a rounded curve that won't be a semicircle, but it is a rounded curve. And comparing that to the parent function, you can see that this is a horizontal shrink. Second way, using a table. This is our table of three values for this, the x and y intercepts. Since k equals 2 inside the parentheses there, the horizontal dilation factor is its reciprocal, which is a half. We keep the y-coordinates the same, as you can see right here, but the x-coordinates are going to be multiplied by the reciprocal of k, which is one half. For example, 6 times a half is 3, so we plot 3 comma 0. 0 times a half is still 0, so 0 comma 6. And half of negative 6 is negative 3, negative 3 comma 0. Connect the points with a rounded curve. And we'll compare this to the parent function. And you can see again that the from blue to green is a horizontal shrink. Now you try one. Graph y equals the square root of the quantity, 36 minus the quantity of 3x squared. Use either method or both for the practice. Press pause to do this and then resume when you're finished to check your answers. And here is our answer right here. 